So next what we're going to do is we're going to back out these bolts. So we'll start with your crankshaft bolt and then the bolts holding on your, your bushing to the impeller. Now it doesn't matter which way you start this, you just need to remove all of it. All right, so from here, what we're gonna do is you have the through bolts on the bushing and then you have these tapped holes. So what we're gonna actually use are those tapped holes. And what that's gonna do is push that bushing forward off the shaft, which will allow us to remove everything. So I try to do this in an even way. That way it brings it off pretty evenly and you don't have to fight it as much. Things to keep in mind are to make sure that you don't leave lose your main shaft on your crankshaft key and then there's an additional key that ties this bushing right here to in the impeller. We don't want to lose either of those because that's how we line up and make sure that everything's secured and going to run when the motor runs. So next as you're redoing your bolts we use Loctite 242. You're going to go ahead and put a little bit on there because this is going to be the last time you really have access at this to get Loctite inside that hole inside the bushing. You wanna make sure that your lock washers are still there. Just a little drop goes a long way. All right, so from here, we are now prepped to go ahead and put that on the shaft. Put that on like so, and then you're gonna line up right here on this bushing with that key portion on your motor shaft. You're gonna go ahead and take that bigger key Sometimes you need to bounce it back and forth to be able to line it up, and in she goes. And then from here, we're going to replace your motor crankshaft bolt. Again, we want to lock tight a little bit. And go ahead, and I like to hand thread that just to make sure that it's not going to cross thread and kind of center it as I'm doing it. And then low and slow. And then when you start to do these outer bolts, tying the bushing to the impeller hub, you want to make sure that you're doing this evenly. Otherwise, it will offset that impeller as a whole. Retention that, and then we will be setting all of them to the torque setting. So ideally you want the middle crankshaft bolt to be 50 pounds of pressure and then on the outer bolts tying the bushing to the hub we're going to go for 20 pounds of pressure. Alright so right here we're going to start with our main crankshaft bolt and this will be the 50 pounds. Now this is going to get a little harder because you're going to have to put back pressure on the impeller as a whole so it doesn't move because you pushing this much pressure on it is going to want to force it forward. We're just going to listen for that click right there. Then we're going to move to our bushing bolts. Again, we're going to do this evenly as possible. And again, same thought. You're probably going to have to put your hand on the impeller to keep it from advancing. There's a click. and click. 